I'm Joanne Ryan, I'm the chair of the Sutherland Shire Business Chamber and it's great to see so many businesses that don't normally come along to event, our events here tonight. So tonight we'll, we'll start off with 10 minute presentations from each of our speakers and then we'll uh, throw, throw to questions and you'll be able to ask um, issues that you might have or want to know about with the rollout of the MBN in this area. So our first speaker is Mariam Shazari. She's the local manager at New South Wales for the Metro South from MBN Co. So I'll invite Mariam to start her presentation and we'll kick off from there. Thank you. Thank you very much for the inter introduction, Joanne, and thank you very much, everybody, for having me tonight. Um, I can see that the MBN rollout really has ramped up from a construction perspective in the Sutherland Shire, um, so it's quite topical. In terms of, I'll be speaking to four key areas in my presentation this evening. Um, I'll be covering basically some more information about what the MBN Access Network work is. Um, I'll give an overview of the technology that's being rolled out in the Shire and an update on the actual MBN Access Network rollout in the Sutherland Shire. Uh, and most importantly, I'll be covering some key steps that businesses should take to pre-prepare themselves for the migration to ensure um, continuity service during the transition to the MBN network. So, broadband is fast taking its place beside other essential utilities such as electricity and gas is something that every home and especially business needs. Um, and the statistics are kind of mind-boggling. So this stat shows us that Google in Australia every minute literally po um, processes 2.4 million searches. At the same time, 700,000 of us are logging to Facebook. Almost a million of us are, hopefully not right now, but swiping left and right on Tinder. Um, <laughs> And most importantly, uh, Amazon sells over $200,000 worth of physical and digital goods, and that's just in Australia every single minute. Hence, MBN's remit to roll out Australia's first open access, wholesale only broadband network. So, what is the MBN? Because it, um, it's something that you see in the news, the news quite a lot. So the MBN really, um, we're just one link in the chain that brings your broadband um, internet and phone services to your home or business. We're an important link in that chain, but we're really the suburban distribution link. So the points of interconnect, um, which of which there are 121 around the country, are really the backbone of our network. NBN builds out from our points of interconnect um, to the local big exchanges, and then from there we build out fibre to a point in your suburb or your street, and we leverage the existing infrastructure to connect you to the MBN network. On the other side of that point of interconnect, our, our customers, the retailers, plug their backhaul networks in there. And, though, and with this dark fibre running all up, the, all up and down the country to aggregated data centres, offshore. So when you think about it, um, the way we make money from our part of the network is something called connected virtual circuit. Uh, we sell that to our customers, um, your retailer. And if you think of it as a, a virtual pipe, NBN builds the, th that pipe and then our customers purchase space on that pipe and provision it amongst um, their customers. Thank you. So just in terms of NBN's role as the wholesaler, our role is to build and operate the infrastructure. We do maintenance and assurance at a wholesale level we provide wholesale speed tiers of at least 25 megabits per second across all our technologies and of at least 50 megabits per second on 90% of our fixed line technologies. Um, we provide wholesale component products for our customers, your retailer, which they build upon and bundle and then on sell to yourselves. Uh, we also maintain a medical alarm, a fire alarm and phone uh, lift phone registry. In terms of your retailers, so your Optus, your Telstras, um, they provide retail plans and pricing. They take our component products and then commercialise that at a retail level. Um, they also are responsible for dimensioning and provisioning on the wholesale network. So 
MBN is currently rolling out uh, what's called the multi-technology mix, where we optimise existing infrastructure uh, to bring the MBN to your home or business. Five of the premise is predominantly being rolled out in new developments, new estates in this area. In the Shire, we have uh, a mixture of five to the node, five to the curb, and five to the basement. With um, and we do have some HFC as well, which is basically um, the Telstra cable network, which we're using for that last uh, leg of our network. So basically, we roll uh, fibre into a central point, either in your street or your suburb, and then we use the existing infrastructure to provide the MBN network to your home or business. So MBN has been tasked with rolling out the network by optimising existing infrastructure through the multi-technology mix. We do understand that some businesses want um, additional bandwidth over and above their allocated technology. We do have a technology uh, choice program where you can uh, pay that incremental cost difference to change your technology choice, let's say from fibre to the node or fibre to the basement to a fibre to the premise type connection. But that is a user pay um, program. So this is a bit of a rollout snapshot of the uh, Sutherland Shire. At the moment we do have a few thousand premises connected to our HFC or cable based network. Recently we did announce a pause over our HFC network to allow some upgrade and remediation works for the next six to nine months. Uh, businesses impacted by that pause would have received communications directly from MBN. We will send communications once you are ready to connect. Um, in terms of the fibre to the node, fibre to the basement and fibre to the curb, that really has started to ramp up um, from January this year and will continue to ramp up um, till March. Typically it takes six or nine months um, from when we start construction until your home or business is ready to connect to the MBN network. Okay, so in terms of some pre-preparedness that uh, businesses need to take on board before migrating across, across the MBN network to ensure that continuity of service. Really recommend that you prepare, um, prepare early. Check your business address either on the MBN website where you can type in your address, will tell you when you can anticipate to be ready to connect and also which technology you'll be connected to. Contact your preferred retailer, have that discussion. Um, also find out when your disconnection date is. So when the MBN network rolls out to an area, typically there is 18 months for you to migrate, 18 months for you to migrate your services across to the MBN before the existing PSDN and ADSL lines are disconnected. So do a bit of an audit of your telecommunications and data services. This could include an ATM, FPOS terminals, cloud services or multiple phone lines. Consider which equipment you have. Uh, establish which business equipment will be migrated across to the MBN, um, including security systems, fire alarms, medical alarms, printers or backup uh, data solutions. Is that equipment compatible with the MBN network and what is the cost of making that equipment compatible versus purchasing new equipment? Compare business offers and plans. Find the option that best suits your telecommunications and data needs. <laughs> Ask questions of your preferred retail service provider, uh, things like early termination fees, disconnection or connection fees, equipment, backup batteries and so forth. Um, ask for help. So contact your preferred retail service provider if you need any help, you're unsure about a component of the migration. MBN has some really handy resources also on our website. So you can um, go onto MBN um, forward slash business. We have a comprehensive checklist so you can go through, tick what data and telecommunications requirements your business has. It will spit out a checklist uh, with steps you need to take prior to migration. So I would recommend um, that businesses have a look at that website. Also be providing further information about the checklist to the chamber to distribute to members as well. Thank you.